Hi and welcome to video number nine. In this in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make some separate goal subs within their own do loops, so that we can have backgrounds and intro screens. So if we look at our current game, it's a bit bland. No start screen, no background. So I'm just going to show you how to how to make improve the look uh, of of our game. And add some new features to it. I've made some media ready for this. I've got a background which is called background.png and I've got Mario Chase which gives <clears throat> the instructions on how to play the game. So to load the image is the same as we've always done to load the background. It'll be load image, assign it a value and it's background.png and it's in my media folder. As always, once I've assigned the image, I'll need to, I've called it background.png, so I can give it a value. So I'll call it background is four, four from being there. This is the same, we were following the same template as we've always done. Load the images, set up the variables, and then um, the last thing to do is create the sprite. So we need to do, Create, create sprite and it's background and number four. So that's how a, a sprite created. I don't, when I've been creating sprites in the past, I've been putting the enemy in, and then I've been saying where the enemy X position and the enemy Y position is, where to place them on the screen. If, if I don't set the sprite position, so where it says enemy X and enemy Y, it, re, it references these two points here. I'm not, I'm not going to decide where to place them because if, if you, if you don't set the sprite position, it'll automatically assume the top left zero zero on the top left of the screen. So, and I want my graphic to appear in the top left. I've set the graphic so it's an eight by six hundred resolution. So it'll start in the top left and fill the screen just as I want it to do. So now that I've um, made made that change, I should have a background in my game. The only thing I need to watch out for is is a slight slight anomaly with the way these are these are called. So if I now compile this and I run it, you'll notice that my background is there, my text is there, but in the background I cannot see my characters. The background is appearing over the over the game and in, in the background the enemy caught me a few times and then, then I died. So basically this is being called at the wrong place. So if I if I call it sooner, so if I delete it from there and put it here, and now compile it. So call a background before the others, and I run it. You'll now notice that I've, that I've now got a background playing, and it, the whole the whole game looks a bit better. So <clears throat> that's the uh, background done. What I'd now like to do is is to put a game intro. Now, if we're going to do a game introduction, we want to, to, to put a splash screen up, but we, we will not want it to, to happen within our do loop. We, we won't want it within there because we'll want, before, we'll want to start something before our game starts. So when we're playing our game, the, our game is within here. This is where we move the player, quit coin collection, enemy chaser, and, and, and die in. So, so if we're going to have a start game screen, press the space bar to continue, we'd need to call our go sub outside of this, but we'd still need a go sub. So um, the first thing I need to do is load the the image. So I've already done that there, which is called load image. I've signed in number five, and it's called mariochase.jpg. Now, I don't need to... Um, declare the variable here I'll need to declare that within its own um, go sub which I'm about to do all will become clear when I show you this screen so here's the game intro I'll copy this text in and we'll see so I go right to the bottom I'll 
paste it in and I'll explain it to you. So I've got a Go sub called Game Intro. If you remember, I've declared number five as Mario Chase. So um, whereas before I would declare a variable, I declare a variable there, then I create the sprite and then I position the sprite. This is happening within its own subroutine. So I need to change that to Mario Chase because that's the JPEG name and it makes sense to keep them the same. So create, so this is exactly the same as I've been doing, but I'm, I want this all to happen within its own subroutine. I want this, ha I don't, I want to call these before my main game. So Mario Chase is five, so that'll work. And what I'm saying is the, I'm creating a subroutine and to, I'm call, calling the variable and creating a the sprite. Then I'm doing number 32, which is the space bar. We can get that from our scan codes. I've shown you how to get that in an earlier lesson. If we press the space bar, exit. That's important. It's not end, it's exit. So what I'm saying is when somebody presses the space bar, exit this subroutine and then follow what comes next. What comes next is the main loop. So, so exit this, um, synchronize the screen, and that ends the loop. So let's compile that. Um, but before I do that, I'll need to do call the go sub. I'm going to put it just before here. So let's call it always remark your code game intro outside main loop and let's go for go sub game intro so now compile it and I run it and it's now waiting for me to press the space bar to begin I press the space bar and I've, as you can see the game is running behind but it hasn't cleared it hasn't cleared this for me. So what I need to do is is a piece of code I remarked out and that was delete sprite. Because what I want to do is declare my variable, create the sprite, the do loop, wait for the space bar to be pressed. When the space bar is pressed, delete the the intro sprite, which is which should be called Mario Chase because that's what it's called here, and that's what it's called there. Delete Mario Chase, then return. And now you should see that it runs. So the game immediately looks better. Press the space bar to begin. This was an 8 by 600 screen, so it fits nicely. I press the space bar. It, it deleted my... It deleted the, the splash screen, and now I'm in the game. And as soon as I've collected five, my game will end um, and that's it game over so that's basically how we do a game intro it sits just remember that it sits outside of the main loop and we can we can declare the variables and the create sprite within it and that's basically how we how, how we we do that element of the game in the next game i'll just show you a win screen and uh, a lose screen and then we pretty much finish that game and we'll go on to um, some kind of uh, shoot them shoot them up game with them with a with a mouse thank you very much